Features and price are a couple of the boxes ticked by these new studio monitors. But what about sound? Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. These are the new iLoud MTM Mark II studio monitors from IK Multimedia. And if you're in the market for some small or even portable monitors, these should definitely be on your radar. We're gonna see later how fully featured they are for a monitor in this price range. But more importantly, we're gonna discuss the sound. And I'm gonna share my honest opinions with you about that. We should probably start off with the specs, but before for that, this video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. When I say small, these monitors are around about 10 inches high and five inches wide and weigh about two and a half kilos or five and a half pound. They're made of this really heavy, solid, molded plastic material, which honestly doesn't feel like it's gonna be vibrating or rattling anytime soon. Now you've got several mounting options you can use the adjustable vertical stand these are great for a desktop configuration where you want to be able to point them up towards your ears you can also mount them horizontally on the pads provided or mount them on a mic stand and it has fittings underneath perfect for that now the mtm in the name refers to the drivers which are mid tweeter and mid drivers the two three and a half inch mid-range drivers are either side of a one inch tweeter and they're rear ported now talking about the rear that's where things get really saucy. Initially at the back, we notice a few familiar things, including a power button and connection at the bottom and an XLR quarter inch combo connection in the middle to hook up to our audio interface. Above this, we have our volume control, which has a nice little notch in it so we can easily find that zero position. I believe this is an improvement over the previous generation. But our eyes are drawn to the lights and buttons above where we get control over the onboard DSP or digital digital signal processing, which has been improved in this version with a 96 kilohertz processing over 48 kilohertz in the previous generation. Now, the DSP on these units controls all kinds of fancy things, but on the back here, we mostly have control over the frequency curve, including an LF or low frequency extension we can see on the left-hand side here, where we can select between 80 all the way down to 40 hertz. Hertz. You'll also notice here that we we've got some presets we can choose, including a desktop preset, a flat preset, and a calibration preset. That draws me to another connection on the back here, which is down below, which is the Arc Mic In. Here we can plug in the supplied microphone and actually calibrate these monitors to the room that we're actually working in. More on that a little bit later. Now next to this, we see a USB connection so we can hook up to our computer and control many of these things from the included software. These monitors are compatible with the X monitor software from IK Multimedia. And within that software, we can do our arc room calibration. We simply plug the microphone into each of these monitors and the software quickly walks us through the process and calibrates our specific room. So it creates a frequency curve to really adjust those troublesome frequencies that you'll find in any room. And given how portable these monitors are and how small the microphone is, this is really useful. You could calibrate any room that you're working in within just a few minutes. Apart from the arc calibration, the X monitor software gives us a kind of a remote control over many of the features that we saw buttons for on the back of these monitors. But one of the things I really like about this software is the speaker emulation. We can choose some kind of famous speakers perhaps that we saw in studios like these white 90s or maybe something like a smartphone. So we can easily try our mix out in different sort of listening environments. This is a useful tool to have and saves you having to leave the 
comfort of your listening position. Now, before we get to the tasty bit of this video, which is my opinion about these monitors, I'd like to remind you that if you want to release your music to major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, etc., follow the VIP link in the description down below to our sponsor, DistroKid, and you'll get 7% off your first year of membership. So I think there's three main reasons why you'd use these monitors. First of all, if you're working in a small space, these don't have much of a footprint, so they're very useful in that way. And indeed, if you're working in a small space, you don't really want huge monitors with a very low frequency response. That low end can really play havoc with your mixing. Now, the other thing about them being small is that they're pretty portable. So the second reason you may buy them is if you're changing environments, if you're moving around from one place to another reasonably often, then these are pretty useful in that way. And if you use the included ARC microphone, you can really quickly, I mean, within a few minutes, calibrate these to the new environment you're working in. Now, the third reason why I think you'd use these monitors, and it's the reason I'm going to be using these monitors, is if you've already got some monitors in your studio that you're pretty happy with, perhaps with a wide frequency response and you're in a sort of a biggish environment, but you wanna have some other monitors to reference on, a second pair. Many people do this, they use a second or even a third pair of monitors just to get a different perspective on the mix. I've found them pretty useful in that way over the last couple of weeks, especially when it comes to the mid-range. They emphasize the mid-range a little bit more than my regular studio monitors, and I'm able to hear a few things that I haven't really heard that well in the past. Let's go further and talk about this sound a bit more. So when I said the mid-range was kind of emphasized, I didn't mean to imply that they sound honky in any way. They don't. I mean that I was just able to hear a little more detail in the mid-range. It was a little bit more forward, perhaps, than in other monitors I've tried out. Now, one area where I was really very impressed was with the high frequencies. There's lots of detail there without it sounding kind of, kind of brittle or harsh or fatiguing. I really have enjoyed the high frequency response on these monitors. But that brings us to the low end, and this is probably the part that we're all wondering about given that these monitors are so small. So I wanna be careful how I say this. When you look at these, you just think there's just not gonna be much low in end in them at all. So in that way, they will surprise you, okay? You'll go, oh wow, I didn't expect that to be there. It's pretty impressive, really, for the size. So, you know, if, you, if you're getting these for a small space and you still want to feel a little bit low end, they deliver pretty well in that regard. Now, this is where I want to be careful. I don't want to leave you with the impression that these have the same low end feeling of like an, an eight inch woofer or, or a system with a subwoofer or something. Of course, they don't have that. There's physics involved and there's only so much you can achieve, but they do have a pretty good low end for their size. Now, it's possible, depending on what kind of music um, that you're producing, that you could also hook these up with a subwoofer and set that, um, that low frequency extension to the 80, um, the 80 hertz position. Use these with a subwoofer if you wanted to, but that's another space thing and another whole complicated thing as well if you're in a small environment. But I think it's fair to say these have a good frequency response in the low end for their size. So in terms of price, these are $799 for the pair, including the microphone and all of the software. Uh, that may sound a little expensive to you, but when you consider what's included and you compare that to other monitors out there, I think it's actually a very, very good price. And you get that convenience of your room correction being on the actual monitor. You don't have to use like a plug-in in in your door or anything sort of awkward like that. So I think that's pretty good. There's, you can also buy um, individual monitors for 399, but they don't come with the microphone. And there's also some immersive packs available as well. You should check the link in the description down below for that. 
overall, I feel that these are good value for money, even if we're not going to describe them as cheap. I mean, they're cheap when you consider that studio monitors go up to, to the tens of thousands of dollars. But I think for um, many hobbyists, this will uh, be not cheap for them. But I think really worth considering, especially if you're working in a small environment. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.